Mr. Transformers 96 here for another video where I'm going to be talking about a newly shown Hot Toys figure. And this time we have the Hot Toys, the Suicide Squad, King Shark, one on scale uh, figure. So very excited about this. Um, when this figure was shown at the convention a few weeks ago, I was really stoked. I couldn't wait. It was the coolest thing personally for me that was shown. Um, so I was really anticipating the actual pre-order release for this. Uh, the day that Suicide Squad came out, I had my fingers crossed and he didn't go up on pre-order. So I've just been uh, really hoping that this wouldn't be one that never sees the light of day. Um, luckily, it, that has been proven not to be the case though. Uh, this figure will be releasing as all the official images came out as well as uh, went up to pre-order. So couple things about this. This figure, I think, probably surprised people as to how they did it, um, because I don't think many people expected them to do a power pose with this guy. Uh, that is, you know, because my, my biggest thing, if you watch my video where I talked about uh, when they showed him, originally I went over my thoughts there, I was super curious to see what type of articulation they were using um, in that video, because... They've, they've been using a lot of rubber lately. I thought that this would be a, very much like a Hulk sc uh, scenario where it would be rubber. Um, I mentioned in that video that the head uh, you know, and, and body are all connected. There's no seams. So I was really hoping, and I mentioned the, the fact that I would have really liked it and preferred it if that was just a statue piece and then the arms would just be rubber or something like that. Um, but luckily, Hot Toys has not only done something like that, but they've done it even better for me personally. Some people might be uh, disappointed by what they're doing here. I am thrilled, though. So uh, what the Power Post series is, is it a ser it's a series that Hot Toys has that they don't do too many figures for, and they certainly haven't done one in quite a while. Um, but essentially, it's a series where the figure has very limited articulation. Um, so they call it kind of Power Pose because it's kind of already pre-posed, but it will still have some joints. Um, for instance, they've done this for the Iron Man Mark 42. Uh, they've, of course, done a regular one of him, but they did a uh, power pose version of him as well. Um, the Red Snapper is a power pose. The Hulkbuster from Infinity War is a power pose. I don't know if they've done any that aren't Iron Man armors, though. I, I can't personally think of any that they've done that aren't. Um, if that's the case, this would be the first one, which is interesting. Uh, but essentially, he is not rubber, uh, which is fantastic. I really hate rubber. I would much prefer visible joints rather than rubber and I'd prefer this rather than rubber. I'd prefer to lose the joint, uh, you know, on most figures rather than have a rubber one because for me, the rubber, it, it scares me. I know that it will deteriorate after a while um, and because of that, I don't use the, the joint anyway because the joint will just make it deteriorate faster and create a crease. Not to mention, even if you were somebody who is totally fine posing it fully uh, with the rubber joint, um, the rubber joints always have very limited articulation, like the range is very small. So for me, they're, they're just pointless. They're something that will deteriorate, which is awful, and I, they don't really have use anyway. Um, so to do this is so much better, at, at least for me. Uh, overall, articulation-wise, what are you looking at? Very light articulation. He, they say that he has five points of articulation, so I believe that those points would be the shoulders, uh, each of the shoulders, which it, it's possible they're ball jointed, but I think that they're actually just swivel. Uh, then he's got a ball jointed wrists, and I believe he has ball jointed, um, uh, uh, well, actually, maybe he has more than five points of articulation. I can't remember what the points of articulation are. So he's got, uh, sh um, excuse me, shoulders wrists. They do say that he has waist articulation, and then he might have articulation in the uh, in the ankles. It looks like there's a bit of a cut there, but it's hard to tell. I don't know why they would have articulation there, because he can't pose the legs, so I'm thinking that maybe there's not articulation in the ankles themselves. Um, but overall, I am very pleased uh, with the fact that this is a power pose, although I know that that might make some people just automatically not want it if they can't do much posing-wise. Uh, but if you really think about it, assuming that they did a completely rubber skeleton and and they went with the full rubber thing, you you still would get, like, no range. Even if the joints are there, covered with the rubber, they get, like, absolutely no range. So I can't imagine truly b thinking that the uh, a rubbered version would be better than this, to be honest. Because um, you, you see, you definitely have a cut there. If there is articulation, it's just a swivel. But then it, it's weird because it's lined up. Like, he's got specific uh, muscular and, and his, his structure from it the inside, if you swivel this at all, it won't match. So even though there's a cut there, I think that's just more for manufacturing purposes. I don't think that there's articulation. Um, 
the overall look of the item is awesome, and, you know, I talked about the look uh, extensively in that other video. It's fantastic. The texture of the skin looks very realistic and uh, really looks like it's straight out of the movie. And let me tell you, now since, uh, obviously, the movie's come out and I've seen it since that last video, King Shark looks fantastic in the movie. I uh, Just in general, I think that the, um, uh, the graphics in the film are, are really great. There's certain shots of King Shark where, although I know that he's not an actual animatronic or puppet at any point, it almost looks like it could be though uh, particularly the shot of him in the bus where he's just looking at the city uh, there's a close-up of him after he sees some people and that looks very real to me so I overall I think that the uh, uh, graphics on King Shark and just in general in the movie are fantastic and uh, the figure really represents it well um, overall looks awesome it looks he, he's got almost like a wet look to him which I think is very cool especially on the inside of the mouth uh, I like the version of the mouth that they went with and by that I mean obviously they could do a closed mouth they could do a fully open mouth with all the top teeth fully showing you know or they could do something like this which is a little in the middle I like the the middle look because this can be used as him just talking it can be used as him just kind of thinking with his mouth open or it can be used as him uh, getting ready to fully open his mouth to attack you know so it works well for any type of pose or kind of uh, thing that you have in your head as, as far as uh, what the what the scene is that you're posing him for basically um overall he just looks really awesome I, I love the design and the texture in the skin is just incredible i can't wait to see that in person uh, the pants are of course real fabric uh, nothing's changed there overall just a fantastic looking figure um and he's got a couple of accessories the accessories are definitely the weak part oh here's the best shot to actually see like the detail so fantastic it really is um, so the accessories are the weakest part of him uh, and <laughs> he comes with barely anything so he comes with a pair of relaxed hands he comes with a pair of a little bit more aggressive hands and then he comes with a book um, which is light in general, but then if you put that on top of the fact that when this guy was shown and at the convention that he was shown at, he had his accessories with him, and it was those hands, the book, and it was also a pair of prison pants that I guess that in the last just couple of weeks they've decided not to include. Uh, so that's very annoying. Like, uh, why why tease us with an accessory like that that you're just not going to give him? Uh, it seems a little crazy, and, and it's disappointing. There's no reason not to give it to him um, unless they're just trying to cut costs. Uh, but obviously they set the prices it isn't a situation where like Marvel Legends where they're all the same price you know with this guy obviously Hot Toys they set the price per the figure so it's just very strange that they wouldn't give us extra pants even if they raise the price you know five ten bucks or something like that so it's just disappointing that he doesn't come with the pants the prison pants um don't get me wrong I would never display him well I would never, I guess, fully display them that way. I'd put them on to see how they look for sure, uh, but they wouldn't be something that I would, uh, you know, have as my first pair uh, because this is what he wears the 90% of the movie. Actually, more like 95% of the movie. The only time that he wears the prison pants is the one scene where they go to get him when he's reading the book. But even to have the prison pants so that the book is a little more accurate, that, that would be nice too. He comes with that book that he's just reading that one scene. It's just a joke because he's reading it upside down just to kind of show that he's um, uh, mentally not that strong so it's it's just for a little joke the book is a nice thing that he comes with but a little unnecessary um, it would be really cool if maybe they did like a, a, a different version of this guy as like an exclusive or something since it's power pose I would imagine that it's you know pretty simple just to dress up differently um, I would love to get a really battle damage version of him uh, you know the way that he looks at the end of the movie I think is really cool with all that damage and that uh, the blood on him I think he looks awesome um, and maybe with just some extra accessories like uh, uh, you know somebody's arm uh, severed arm that he's kind of can chew on or something like that that would be cool um or even one of those little like a uh, gooby kind of a, a little sea monsters that he befriends and fights you know that would be kind of neat to, to get uh, from him as well so overall though accessories are very limited it's not a character that needs many accessories don't get me wrong but it is very limited and it's a bit of an insult considering they've shown us more that they've decided not to give us so price with this guy let's talk about the details for release um now when i made that other video obviously with in my head thinking that this would be a figure that they've 
that wasn't a power pose. I kind of debated on the price. He's King Shark isn't particularly tall. He's certainly taller than your than an average person, but he's not like super tall. But he is just bulky. He's got a lot of mass to him. So I expected this to be a, a very expensive figure. Some of the figures that I used to compare it and kind of determine the price was the uh, Venom Deadpool as well as just the Venom uh, from the movie Venom figure. Those I thought were the best. Uh, you know, um, comparison given if this was an actual like rubber figure. And uh, so I was expecting this guy to be in the very high 300s to even very uh, uh, low 400s. Um, so once I found out it was a power pose, I was not only happy just because I much preferred that, but also because I knew that that would certainly bring the price down. So I was expecting the price to still be um, high 200s, maybe 300. And to my surprise, it was much less. This is a $220 figure, which is phenomenal. I mean, your your average hot toy figure nowadays costs $250 to $280. That's like for your standard figure. So to get something that's so much larger for so much cheaper than that is really fantastic. And obviously it's due to the fact that he's got limited articulation, but overall the, the detail in him... Uh, like, for me personally, I would be totally fine spending 300 for this. So, I'm just... I guess it's also a little flabbergasting, too, because constantly with Hot Toys, I'm always disappointed with their price. I'm always, uh, you know, disappointed by how expensive something is, and, you know, it's usually over my estimate rather than under. So, to get something that's under and by so much is fantastic. So, I'm very excited about this. I was going to buy it, even if it was rubber, uh, for 400 You know, I would have still gotten it. So to get something that I prefer for almost half of what I was expecting is just incredible. I really couldn't be any happier about this. The release date itself is not too bad either. It's just about a year away, which is, that's a solid release for me. I, I've been saying this a lot lately in, in these videos, is that uh, Hot Toys, they used to be about a year like this, but nowadays they seem to be a year and a half to two years sometimes. So a solid, just year out release, that sounds good to me, that's how it should be. So I'm happy with that uh, expected to ship date as well. So there you go, that's my thoughts on this new Hot Toys Suicide Squad Power Pose King Shark figure. I know that the fact that he's a power pose is probably going to be a little divisive. I think that overall people will probably prefer this though because if you're really honest and truly think about it, even if it was fully articulated with rubber, he would have no range as it is. So overall I personally am extremely happy about uh, this and uh, overall I think that it's a, a great development for Hot Toys. So, very excited to get this figure. It was a day one pre-order for me. I don't do that too often on Hot Toys. This one definitely warranted it, though. And I'm very excited to see if they do any other Suicide Squad uh, members. I'm sure they will, at least Harley, but I would love it if they did uh, some, some extra, because uh, it's a cast of colorful characters that I'd love to see in Hot Toys form. So there you go. That's my video on the Hot Toys King Shark. Let me know what you guys think, and thanks so much for watching.